Welcome to the program, ladies and gentlemen. I, maybe you heard the big news. John McCain, Senator John McCain, Republican candidate for president, was supposed to be on the program tonight. Were you aware of that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, he had to cancel the show because he's suspending his campaign because the economy is exploding. <laughs> and you know, you know John McCain, is, uh, is, uh, he's the running mate of Sarah Palin. You're aware of that? Oh. He, uh, and so John McCain calls up and he said, I'm not going to be there, kids, because uh, everything is going to hell. And, and uh, here's the funny part. Nobody told his vice presidential candidate, Sarah Palin. And honest to God, right now, she's still circling the theater in the white minivan. <laughs> going to pick him up later and drive him. And, th and then, after McCain canceled being on the show, he rushed right back to Washington to deal with the economic crisis. And I thought, whoa, whoa, well, he sure nipped that in the bud, didn't he? <laughs> he get in there. <laughs> oh. Oh. And I was thinking about this. Well, maybe if he hadn't taken two years off to run for president, he wouldn't have to rush back to Washington now to deal with the crisis. <laughs> but. <laughs> I know a lot of you folks are saying that the big tragedy is the fact that he won't be here tonight. Hmm. Yeah. But he's also canceling the debate on Friday. He will not be participating in the right? president. Yes, yeah, absolutely. So that means Barack Obama will now have to debate Regis. Are you ah! Now, uh, we're all uh, running around here a little ragged at the last minute because a uh, Republican uh, presidential uh, campaign nominee, uh, John McCain, yeah. uh, was going to be uh, our guest, and we're looking forward. We always like having the senator on the program. Here's a guy, by the way, I have uh, nothing but the highest regard for this man because a true American hero, and as Bill Clinton said the other night, gave everything but his life yeah. uh, for America during the Vietnam War. Yeah. And, and uh, we're in a sh uh, sorry need and short supply of actual uh, heroes like John McCain. Man, so, <clears throat> that is so true. <clears throat> so uh, I love and respect and admire the man for that. And who among us uh, doesn't wish they had that kind of steel, that kind of commitment? In a, in a North Vietnamese prison camp for four years, and the North Vietnamese come to him and say, well, guess what, your time's up. And he said, well, does everybody get to go home? And they said, N no. And he said, well, I'm not going home till everybody gets to go Imagine home. That. Who, could, who could do that? Imagine that. Yeah. So, wow. Let me tell you something. This is why we, wow. this is why we love that man. We love the guy. Yeah, I'll right. tell you, if I was in a prison cab and they sure. said to me, your time is up, and I would say, they, well, does Dave get to go home right, too? They right. would say, no. I, I say, bye. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? You know? You're in the, you're in the I car. Don't, I don't, I'm out of here. Taxi. Yeah. That's me. <laughs> but when you, when you call up, and you call up at the last minute, and you cancel a show, ladies and gentlemen, that's starting to smell. <laughs> I mean, this, this is not the John McCain I know, by God. It's this, not the same guy no, who said, does I, it, everybody it, get it to go home? It makes me believe something is going haywire with the campaign. What do you because think it could be? I don't know. Something's gotten to him, and somebody said, you know what, you, b b blow Letterman off. He's a lightweight. Blow him off. Yeah. <laughs> but here's what you do. Sure, there's an economic uh, crisis, and, and here's what you do if you're running for campaign in the middle of an economic uh, crisis, and it's about to crater. That's a quote from him. I love that expression. The economy is about to crater. Well, I'd like to see that. <laughs> Here's what you do. Crater? Yeah. I barely know her. Thank ah! you. <laughs> <laughs> you see? He's at home watching. McCain's at home watching this now thinking, boy, I'd like to be there for the fun they're having. <laughs> So here's what happens. The economy is about to crater. You're, you're a, a senator, a fourth-term senator from Arizona. You go back to Washington. You handle what you need to handle. Don't suspend your campaign. You let your campaign go on, uh, shouldered by your vice presidential nominee. That's what you do. You don't quit. Where, what? Or is that, really, is that really a good thing to do? Is that? Oh, well. <laughs> well, 
<laughs> well, See we, what I'm saying? We don't know. We uh, don't well, know. That's what, th this guy doesn't have an ounce of quit in him. So all no. of a sudden we're suspending the campaign? Look, if I drop dead right now, my hand to God, Paul's taking over the show. I'm there. Paul is taking over yeah, the no, show. In all seriousness, thank you, and I would be there. You say, I got to get back to Washington to save this country. Good for you. And, and while I'm gone, campaigning in my stead will be my great running mate from the state of Alaska, Sarah Palin. And she comes out and campaigns. Yeah. What happened there? What's the problem? <laughs> where, where is she? What, why, why isn't she doing that? She is a good-looking babe. I, I, <laughs> you got to admit that. Exactly. That's the point I'm trying to make. <laughs> so, I don't know, but you heard it here first. This doesn't smell right. You know, this just doesn't smell right because this is not the way a tested hero behaves. So, somebody's putting something in his Metamucil. <laughs> <laughs> and, and let's say there's a time of crisis and, and the, the poor guy, because he's a little older, I mean, he's a about my age. <laughs> and then Sarah Palin takes over as president. Well, she ought to be ready because she's, she's handled crises like this in the past. Oh, wait a minute. She really hasn't handled a crisis <laughs> like this in the past. You don't suspend. <laughs> Let me just go through this one more time to make my point absolutely clear. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he can't run the campaign because the economy is about to crater. Fine, you put in your second string quarterback. Well, where is our second string quarterback? Yeah, uh, yeah thank you. Yeah. Hey, don't get me started. <laughs> you don't suspend your campaign. <laughs> if you believe in your vice presidential candidate, you say, uh, Sarah, I have to go back to Washington to save the economy. You take over. And she says, gotcha. <laughs> so now I wonder if he'll ever come back. Do you think he'll come back? Not after the uh, drubbing that you have just delivered. That <laughs> guy has never, never come back. A hero, an honest to God hero, he an American hero, no. maybe the only actual hero I know. I've met the man, I know the guy. So I'm more than a little disappointed by this behavior. Yeah. We're suspending the campaign. Yeah. Are we suspending it because there's an economic crisis or because the poll numbers are sliding? Whoops, whoops, whoops. <laughs> you, you, I mean, there's really no need to suspend anything. You, you just say, you know, come and do the show yeah. and then go to the debates and then spend more time at your desk in the Senate and then let your vice presidential candidate carry on the campaign. Carry on the campaign. Carry yeah. on the campaign. Yeah. Yeah. She could be on this show talking about how you field clean a moose. <laughs> talking about how you smoke enough salmon for the winter. I, I, don't, I don't mean to, to, to uh, cut into your time and no, your, no, your generous you. visit, but w when uh, John McCain, and he was nice enough to call me on the phone and said he was racing back to Washington. Yeah. And the, our people here were told, uh, the, it's so serious, he's getting on a plane immediately and racing back to Washington. And now we've just been told, here, take a look. Do we have it on the thing? This, just this, is, this is going live. This, yeah, there he is right there. He was imbued with the Democratic... Doesn't seem to be racing oh. to the airport, does he? <laughs> This, this just gets Ellen uglier and uglier. Too, I'm right? feeling went... bad for the man to have uh, participated in, in this. I mean, you, first of all, the road to the White House runs right through me. That always <laughs> has. Always has. Always will. Well, let's just punch up uh, Katie Couric's interview. And Keith, you can go back to wherever you okay, came from. Let's just see what he has to say here. This would be interesting. I wonder if he'll mention me. Hey, John, I got a question. You need a ride to the airport? I believe that we can. Have our better days ahead. Now, that, now this stinks. Now, you tell me. You know how things like this work. Oh, yeah. is, is it his fault or is it something that CBS News got a hold of him and said, you got to come in here and do that? 
Oh boy, how much trouble can I get into and how fast? Oh, I, I, I would be speculating. I, there's very little done in that campaign without his knowledge. Yeah. I think he dissed you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> unless, unless her first question is now, Senator, why did you cancel on Dave? <laughs> now then, that, that ought to be the first. Question. Or the other possibility is that she has all the money that's required to fix the economy. <laughs> well, then, well then, ah, okay. If now he's that's going it. there, look at she's bailing him out. If that's it, I'm voting for him. So, there you go. But now, I, I don't want to keep beating this thing, but it just... <laughs> yeah, you, it, yeah, it, you, it really yeah, is yeah. starting to smell now, because the, the, he, he says to me on the phone, I took a phone call from John yeah, McCain. I, a lot of senators don't call me. Yeah, I know. And, and so I felt like, it's okay, a thrill. It's it, 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 as part of the, the national good, I understand. And I said, good luck. Thank you for being attended with the cause. And he said, maybe next time I'll come in, I'll, talk, I'll bring Sarah Palin. And I said, fine, whatever you need to do, that's just fine. He said, yeah, we're going to go save the country. And, and then you get plenty of, it's like, like we caught him getting a manicure or something. <laughs> Uh, we're told now that uh, the senator has concluded his interview with Katie Couric, and he's now uh, on Rachel Ray's show making veal piccata. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do?